Hello trainers, welcome to Poker Gear Podcast with me, your host, Just the Curtis. Well, today we uh, are going to be talking about Nintendo Direct, which came out on the 8th of the 3rd, 2018, which was about a week ago now, so it's a good time for us to talk about it. But today I have wonderful guests as always, so my first guest is... Oh, is, is that me? <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, hey guys, Pokedemic here, and yeah, I'm happy to be on the Poker Gear podcast. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and also we have our other guest as returning to us. Uh... It's your boy, Link Cable. <laughs> it's your boy. Not as much as a great introduction as uh, Pokedam there, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm keeping that in. So, we had uh, Nintendo Direct, which came out, so it's been a week now, so we thought it's best opportunity to talk about it, and uh, talk about the games that came out. We had 3DS games, we've had Switch games, and we had a big, big uh, announcement at the end of it. So, uh, Link Cable, Lewis. Yes. Is there any games from the uh, selection that we've had that really uh, appeal to you most? Well, do you want to talk about 3DS games or just in general? We'll do the 3DS games first because they kind okay. of picked up on that straight with the uh, eStore games coming back, so update versions of them as well as a few new games. Also to get the 3DS stuff out of the way. Now. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the 3DS stuff out of the way and then we'll go to the main topic, I would say. Well, I think the only real game that on, in the 3DS section that really intrigued me was the... Um, Luigi's Mansion, uh, Luigi, Luigi's Mansion <laughs> game being uh, ported over, the, like the original game being ported over to the 3DS, unlike the, which I think it was a remake originally, the you know the one we did get on 3DS uh, a few years back. Yeah, we, we had two of the last podcast, didn't we? It was Luigi's Mansion Two, isn't it? So they thought, oh, we better do Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS because get, the, get the original out there. Yeah, but um, yeah, no. So that was admittedly the only one. That really uh, interested me the most. A little bit salty that it wasn't announced for the Switch because I think that would be a great little Switch game to have, especially for you know Luigi. Get some love there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I would have thought if it at least did like twin things, so it's like oh, it's coming out on Switch as well as uh, the 3DS. Uh, what about you, well, Dan? Did you actually, so, oh, sorry. Uh, Dan, um, do you like Luigi's Mansion coming out? To be honest, not really much for the 3DS tickled my pickle, if you feel me. Like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've never really played Luigi's Mansion. I've I've looked at it and it looks cool. And as for like Mario and Bowser, you know, a Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, uh, Dylan's Deal, Heath Breakers, and Wario Wear Gold. Not too bothered about them. I mean, being a Pokemon YouTuber, I suppose I should be bothered about P uh, Detective Pikachu, but. At the same nah. time, <laughs> I'm not even gonna get it unless I see other someone else like play it and I see it's good. But yeah, I'm nah, nothing on the 3DS really took my fancy. And I remember watching the direct and I was thinking, oh man, this is just gonna be a waste of half an hour for me, isn't it? <laughs> so I need to like do something else. Should I play Fortnite while was watching this? Like, what's going on? You know? <laughs> Actually, imagine if Fortnite came to the Switch. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I've heard reports. I've I've seen some rumors. I've seen some leaks going um, around. Apparently, it could happen. <laughs> that'd be that'd be cool. But yeah, nah, nothing really. <laughs> so what we're saying is, Lewis, sorry about Luigi's Mansion. To be aware. <laughs> sorry, say that again. What were you saying about Luigi's Mansion? Sorry, Lewis. Oh, so um, the only thing I was going to add on top of that was. It's a little bit. I found it a little bit weird that they are now deciding to port that game to the well 3ds of all consoles. Mm. But I think reading very in you know the fine print you know, in between the lines, I reckon that's them subtly confirming that they're going to do another Luigi's Mansion game potentially for the Switch. So like maybe Luigi's Mansion like three perhaps. Yeah. So I think it's a great game. I, I, I'm a fan of uh, Ghostbusters, so when that game came out, I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I played it when it was on GameCube, and I did enjoy that game a lot. Like, it was just a free room walk around the whole mansion. Game Sucking up. It was just really nice, because <laughs> yeah. as well as that, your goal was to find treasure and money in this building, as well as capturing all the ghosts that came out of the pictures and that. So... Like I said, it's a bit weird that they're bringing on to the 3DS now. Oh, you never know. Get that Switch game. <laughs> yeah. I would love to if it was on Switch. It was a third game. Luigi buys another mansion. Mario gets stuck in there again, you know? And then you use the uh, Joy-Cons as the uh, the vacuum thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. yeah, just uh, strap a backpack on you. And <gasps> the, uh... No! 
They could do the whole Nintendo Labo, the yeah. cardboard boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Strap it to your back and pretend you're uh, sucking up a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Ghostbuster, yeah. <laughs> Um, one more thing about the 3DS. I was kind of surprised that they, you know, I know we've just had Gen 2, but I kind of, in the back of my head, thought if we're getting Pokemon this year, it would be uh, Gen 3 being remade on the 3DS. So I was somewhat expecting that. Well, like you know, the Virtual Console, you mean? Or... Virtual Console, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I did think Gen 3 would come to the Virtual Console, and I still think it will. Mm. Probably this year, like, probably just a later date, but I wouldn't have been too surprised to, you know, have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's like a safe bet or like a um, yeah. fair assumption. <laughs> We're just keeping an eye in the pocket just in case for one of those rainy days I'd go, uh, we haven't released I'm anything wrong, amazing recently. Oh, here we go. What about that? Just, just straight Let's just <laughs> drip feed the Pokemon community. Here's some old games. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I was surprised with the 3DS. Just a few of them like WarioWare Gold uh, for the title, which was common because Wario is obsessed with getting gold, so... Where wear gold. I I did like that game on the DS. It is fun to bring that one back. Bit of a random one. I was really confused with the Dillion's Dead uh, Hate Breakers one. I was like, what is that game? <laughs> yeah, um, a little bit of an oddball game. I yeah. thought. <laughs> I was looking at it like, uh, okay, what what is this? <laughs> I was surprised, and I think it was the Luigi and Mario game or Mario and Luigi story. Yeah, I think that game is announced for twenty nineteen release date. Which, that's what really shocked me the most, because I was, like, thinking, wow, they're really going to support the 3DS till then. I, I, I Admittedly, I thought this would be the last year for 3DS, yeah. in my opinion. But um, it seems like, to some degree, they want to keep going. So, we'll see what happens. But I reckon, by the time Pokemon uh, Switch eventually comes to well, the Switch itself, I think that's when it's like, right, all your main... First party games are on the Switch now. Yeah. Pretty much gonna forget about the 3DS at this point. So I think 2019 at this point could potentially be the last year of 3DS. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think 2019, 2020, because like, yeah, some of the first parties have moved over and taken over like Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, you know, and the only thing really that's left to go there is Pokemon. So yeah, like, I think as soon as Pokemon's done, and you know, Smash is there too now, so there's that as well. You like got Metroid what as really, well. Yeah, what really is left for the 3DS? You know, it just makes you wonder. Like, mm. yeah, just a bunch of spin-off games. Yeah. Also, with the uh, a game that we're going to be talking about later is the uh, Toadstool game. That one is actually coming to that 3DS so as well. Cool. Yeah. So that is for 3DS in 2018. So it seems like 2019 is the DS actually going to survive that long. Like Lewis was yeah. saying. <laughs> I'm calling I it did. 2020 final year. <laughs> 2020. I think, yeah, that's, that sounds fair. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Money on it. <laughs> um, so, nice, because all the old games we bought back has got like a flashier title or added more to, like the Mario Luigi Bowser game, like you were saying, has a, and Bowser Jr.'s Journey now added on. So, to make it more appealing, instead of just a remake of it, they're trying to make it seem more is added to it. Trying to make it worth more your money of, yeah. hey, you know, it, yeah. you should get this game now because there's more added stuff. Yeah, especially Luigi's Mansion because they were just mentioning that there's a boss rush mode in there now. So it's kind of... Oh, yeah. I, mean, to... I, I did see that. That looked pretty cool, actually. So it's trying to be like, oh, yeah, there's new added stuff to these old games, even though you might have played it already. So, yeah, it seems nice. And Detective Pikachu, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see about that. Uh, I always come back to haunt us. Uh like uh dan was saying it has to see that one and see how it runs and if it's actually any good because the only thing it reminds me of is when you play in x and y where you meet up with the actual detective doing the last missions at the end of the game oh yeah. when you see looker yeah that's the only thing that just reminds me of it well isn't that isn't detective pikachu meant to take place in kalos it's like wasn't this game originally like back in generation six in japan yeah I think so, because um, apparently in Japan, they they already had a part one Detective Pikachu, which was a year or two ago. I think it was like two years ago. Um, and then, because I remember watching like people like Game Explain like, mention it now and again, saying, I wonder if we'll ever get a Western release for Detective Pikachu. Obviously, they've recently confirmed it, and 
weirdly enough, we're also getting a movie. Uh, okay. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, that's, it's just a weird one, I thought. <laughs> and don't forget to mention that uh, Amiibo for the uh, Detective Pikachu, which is... A oh my free god, I do not understand why it's so big. Yeah. I don't like how Detective Pikachu sounds. Like, it, it's just more deep than I'd expect. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Down with the original voice to be like, Peter P, we gotta solve all these mysteries. Like, we gotta solve these mysteries. Well, not, not to that, you know, extent of a little but yeah. <laughs> but I would say the only thing which is pretty good is them deciding to burst out of like, the Pokemon thing to make a more story based Pokemon game like uh, Colosseum and all that type of stuff again. Yeah. Where there's actually a story base behind it. It's pretty cool. Well, but I mean, like, story is, like, more of the focal point. Yeah, instead of um, a normal average Pokemon game. Like, Mystery Dungeon has a story behind it and that. But this is another game where it's just like, hey, there's something happening in the town. Pokemon are going against their trainers. What's going to happen? You have to find out by detective skills. <laughs> it's just like, cool, it's an adventure-type game. <laughs> swear, swear to God, if, if we get an announcement in 2019 saying, okay, we're pouring over, Detective Pikachu has a switch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, like I said, or as Dan said, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see about that game. Yeah. Yeah. See what but I think that's it, it for the 3DS, though. Yeah, I would say that is all for 3DS. Uh, goodbye, 3DS uh, 2019. Uh, RIP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can go on to Nintendo Switch. There, well, how many games are there released on that? Uh, well, I think the Direct was in total roughly 35 oh. minutes. Mm. Yeah, it was about eight to ten games, I think. Probably, maybe a bit more. Uh, yeah, fifteen games. Yeah, a bit more. <laughs> a bit I think it's. I think it's about like sixteen. Hold on. <laughs> oh, sixteen with the one at the end. Yeah, sixteen with the one at the end. Right. Cool. So... Oh no, no, sorry. It is fifteen. It is fifteen. <laughs> so, shall we start with Kirby Star Allies? <laughs> yes, I reckon so because it came out recently. It came out. Yeah, um, it's a free I mean, demo is out at the moment right now, so the free demo is free for people to play it, and it releases on March sixteenth, which is yeah, just come out, isn't it? The proper game, yeah. Yeah, two days ago. <laughs> oh, two days ago to this recording. It's not too bad. Like, I love Kirby. Kirby's adorable, but I haven't really played many of the games. I think I've played maybe two games and not even completed them. I think Same. it's unique how it's kind of like Mario in the sense of it's you know, uh, you know. The kind of platforming. platforming, yeah, that's what that's what I was looking for. But like, instead of jumping onto the you know question mark blocks and finding uh, you know uh, um, a mushroom or something or a fire flower, Kirby can just like become its like enemies or eat the enemy. you know, just like <laughs> yeah, just eat it and like just suck it down and bam. <laughs> I do love that about Kirby because same as you, Dan, I. Haven't really dabbled that much with the actual Kirby games, but yeah. when it comes to Smash, I always play as Kirby because I love that feature of I'm just gonna suck up an enemy, take it's their really kind of like skill, and also just for the uh, the troll, I sometimes just suck up an enemy and just jump off the edge. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh, I do around um, Smash too, where you like can grab them and then jump in the air and just slam all the way down off the stage. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, with Kirby All Stars allies, there is actually quite a few Kirby characters, which some of them you might know from the Smash franchise. Some of them, if you actually played the game, is like regular if you played characters. Kirby as well. Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah, quite a few characters which are like Meta Knight, uh, King Diddy, and all that's going to be in it. So you can actually play as these characters all together, four of you playing. So it's a nice big game for a lot of people to play. I have to say though, with um, when I originally saw. The announcement for uh, Kirby Star Allies, I was a little bit like the game doesn't look as amazing as as I was hoping. But after playing the demo of it, I became so much more in love with it. it was, it's the best way to put it was it's just simply a fun and enjoyable game. Yeah. So yeah, beautiful little Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful little Kirby, because the last lot of games I've seen of it was um, the Cotton one, where it's all about war and cotton on the 3DS and that. So it's nice yeah. that it's just come out with a new game where it's like, oh yeah, it's like a platform game like the Super Smash Bros. game that the um, Super Mario game that came out where there, you could play as four characters as Toad and all that. Mm -hmm. It just seems Oh, like, yeah, I know one. Sorry. Yeah, they seem to do it just like, ta-da, it's a curry version of it. <laughs> um, moving on from that, the next game 
which was uh, shown was the Okami HD. Yes. I cannot wait for that game. That game looks Very amazing. That, game. That, that's like a old school game I've always wanted to play. I never had the chance to back then. Mm. But And it was one of those things because obviously Okami HD was announced for and released on PS4 and Xbox One. I think possibly PC, but I'm not too sure. Um, but it's one of those games I was thinking, right, it came out on PS4. I have a PS4. But something deep down inside my soul was going, that game's coming to Switch. Hold on. Just hold on. You, 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 know, you can wait it out. It's fine. And I'm so happy it did because I just feel like it looks like a much better game to have on the go. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I remember, I think when I first came out, I think I wanted it originally for the GameCube. I think that's what console it came out on, uh, other than PS2 and stuff. But um, no, it looks like a really good game. Uh, very artistic, as they say. Yeah, I and, um, for a Nintendo yeah. HD version, it's a very colourful game. So I could just imagine what it would look like in a HD format. And it yeah. has uh, gameplay using touchscreen yet again, which the Switch has a touch to draw out oh, the yeah. so that is a f- um, game mechanic they added into it which is good I'm going to learn me some Japanese now <laughs> <laughs> yeah katakana and all that uh, uh, they uh, if anyone else wants to say anything about Okami Dan what's your um, opinion on it I I honestly like I know no you know, it's going to make me feel really uh, look really like young and a fetus <laughs> but what's this Okami? is the first time I've ever heard of it like <laughs> what so I don't really have an opinion on it. I really like the art style, but that was pretty much it. <laughs> Damn you, Dan. Damn you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next well, game... Well, here, here's a game that's exciting for Dan. So sh- yep, Dan's going <laughs> to oh, be first in line to get that one. So. What, you mean, what, just rip off Fruit Ninja? <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's what it was. Fruit Ninja Story Mode, and that's all I saw. <laughs> oh my God, Story <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next game on yeah, the that list game did not interest me. Was Sushi Striker the way of the Shushido? <laughs> oh my god, they had a longer name for it. <laughs> yeah, it's not just that. That was a very long title. It's Sushi Striker, the way of the Sushido. <laughs> How racist does this game want to be? <laughs> I don't know, but that was just. A, I looked at. It, I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's a little random. That's a game. One in there, you know. <laughs> Any opinion about that one, Dan? <laughs> about what? The Sushi Striker again. No. Um, no this... Why? Why is it happening? Like, no. I think it's happen. just a fun, easy game for them to make, I guess. Or I say fun loosely. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. like, well, I'll tell you something. I won't so... be getting it. So, instead of that one, there will be one to next <laughs> Yeah, don't really need to spend much time on Sushi Striker, the way of the Sushido. <laughs> yeah, so... That's going to be my new just... Twitter handle. <laughs> uh, Octopass uh, Traveler? Is that the one? Yeah, super excited for this game. But um, I'm really excited for this because it's a 2D, 3D RPG, as they call it. It's basically, it's got 2D art style, but... It's all rendered in 3D, so that like, you can move into the background and you know towards the camera. Yeah. So um, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. I'm really excited for it. It's by I think it's being published by Square Enix as well. Um, so for a long time I was thinking because they said Octo- Octopath Traveler was its project name, I was kind of like Loki hoping it was going to be called Final Fantasy by its release. <laughs> mm. But uh, no, no, really cool. Um, what's your thoughts on it, Kurt? Um, looking at it, I do like they use the classical, uh, like, very small emote type characters from the Final Fantasy franchise, and they recently done, they've done that mobile game with all the retro Final Fantasy characters, and I was just thinking of that, like, oh, it all looks the same, they all look nice and chibi-like, really cool characters, and how the scale of the areas you go into look pretty awesome as well, I did like that. Loki, they should do the whole like Pokemon formula by saying it all comes together. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool game and really looked nice. I was like, oh, this looks very like old, like retro, and then it showed the three D factor of it. And so I like, ah, it's pretty good. And Dan, what was your thoughts? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. My friend, um, my friend Envy plays. I don't know if he's watching, but shout out if you are. Uh, he, he he's obsessed with the game and like. Yeah, like, oh, good. 
he, he does talk about it sometimes, and I actually do listen, and it sounds cool. When I get the chance, when I get a Switch, I'm going to give it a go. And, yeah, I like your link. I like the art style. I think it's cool how it's, like, 2D, but at the same time 3D as well. Like, yeah, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> yes, thank God. They, they took a chapter out of uh, Paper Mario's uh, game, didn't they? Yeah. Again, like, stunning, like, visuals, that game. <laughs> mm. Uh, next one on the list is the uh, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, which this no one I looked, more uh, this one I really looked the look of because it's very retro. He goes, is uh, Travis the char- character from uh, No More Heroes gets sucked into a video game, and he Travis has to take on all the bad guys. And I do like this company that does this type of game because of the way it looks. And uh, people and the characters just look so crazy and obscure. Very anime anime style of them. <laughs> it reminds me of more of a, um, I guess like a you know where Deadpool meets Devil May Cry kind of game, because um, that's what well that's my impression of uh, Charles Touchdown. I never sadly got the chance to play New More Heroes on the Wii, which I think was its original console it came out on. Yeah, but um, no, like you this has excited me because you know i have a switch so um i, I kind of want to play a lot of more of the first party games than i have in the past so like you've seen all the different uh game modes you can play with well this new game i guess <laughs> looks really cool um look forward to it and yeah see what else there is so i mean I'm, I'm i'm really interested at the fact of there's a lot of different styles of way to play the game mm. <laughs> What about you, Dan? <laughs> Honestly... Never played it. Same yeah, as me. How did you guess? Like, I've never <laughs> played it. Like, I can't even say it looks cool. I'm not really into anime. Oh my god, people are going to kill me for saying that. Wait a minute. You mean you're not into the Pokemon anime? God, well, you're the yeah, but you know, YouTuber there is. I don't even watch anime, and I, I know myself. The Pokemon anime isn't an anime, like, among <gasps> the anime community. That's what I That's what I know. Um, but no, I like the Pokemon anime, yeah. Um, are you trying to say that Pokemon anime is Pokemon cartoon? <laughs> I mean, pretty much, you know, like. <laughs> That's how I consider nah, but, it. But um, <laughs> I I'm not really into anime and stuff, and I don't really understand the game. I'm pretty uneducated on it, but I'm sure if you know, I had well, I do have the chance. It's called Google, but if I just Google what the game was about, I was gonna say if I had the chance to find out what the game's about, I have the chance. Um, but yeah, if I do find out what the game's about and it tickles my pickle said that twice today now. Oh my god, um, that is the best catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, I, I may get it. I don't know. Um, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I think each time he says, tickle my pickle, I'm just going to add a new pickle on the table. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how many pickles I can have. Um, next one after that is Dark Souls Remastered. Yeah, I'm too scared <laughs> to play that. <laughs> I'm definitely going to play it when I get a Switch, because I just love Dark Souls series. Bloodborne, Dark Souls, oh god, I love those games. Well, when you get yeah. your Dark Souls copy, then you can get the Amiibo. Hey. Woo, praise the sun. <laughs> say, I have nothing to say about yeah. Dark Souls, because like, it's, uh, it's too hard of a game for me to like, like get invested. I've not played Dark Souls, but I know for a fact that like, you know, when I get a Switch, I'm going to give it a go, because all my friends are telling me to, and yeah, peer pressure. <laughs> I hope Dan, that when that day comes, I hope you live stream it, just <laughs> so we can all enjoy your adventuring. I wouldn't even have a clue, my dude. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I'd be like, oh, let's this guy. <laughs> but yeah, um, after that, of course, was Captain Toad uh, Treasure Tracker. Yeah. Um, myself, like I played it on the Wii U. I, I see. This is what I have played. Oh, <laughs> I'm right, here's one. Not big a fan of it though. Like I don't know. It, I just didn't really. Oh, I I wasn't crazy for the art style. Well, well, the art style, yeah, but like the gameplay. That's what I mean to say, like how it was rotating and like I I'm just not a fan, and I I won't be getting it on the Switch. I can tell you that much. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you 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 you've done your time. You played it on the uh, Wii U. Yeah. So you're okay. You're exactly. okay. But, um, I'm interested in it because I've actually never played a Toad game before, so or Captain Toad. So I'm interested to play this. Um, it's got that whole interesting 3D platformer kind of vibe about it. Yeah. So I'll see what happens with that. I'm 
yeah, I, I, I think I'll enjoy it to some extent, but I don't think it'll be a game I'll, uh, you know, restart yeah, like, and repeat. So I'm a fan of the like concept of the game, like the concept of the gameplay, but the way it was executed was just pretty poorly, in my opinion. <laughs> well, I find this one interesting because they also announced this is going to switch, but also 3DS, didn't they? I think so. Because yeah. it, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why they did that. Because I guess. To make more sales, or to Everyone say, hey, look, we're still supporting this. <laughs> we're still supporting 3DS. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> um, but that's a game coming out on July 13th, uh, the same date as Octopath. So look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Ugh. Now, I'm not normally a guy who plays sports games, but this actually looks really cool. See, I don't understand how it looks cool. Like, it just looks like Mario Tennis on the Wii. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, what's the difference? They, like, spotlighted it, but it's Mario Tennis on the Wii. Like, with a few added different things. I, I just want to play as Chain Chomp with a racket. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that does look pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I uh, played this game when I was on GameCube. And it, yeah, the original. The original one, yeah. Um, it's fun, however, it's very same, because you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Like, hey, hey, tennis match, and you just like, clink, 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 and you're like, oh, I have to do this for another eight games, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> what I, um, low-key hope from this announcement of the Mario Tennis game, I'm hoping by next year, or maybe later this year, uh, we get an announcement saying they're going to make a new Mario Strikers game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where, where all the characters are playing football, but they've all got like these angry faces. <laughs> angry faces, and the cover of it has a slight graffitiness to it to make it very appealing to the young audience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dan's like, what? What the hell is this game? Uh, no, I know Mario Strikers. The, the the soccer one. I say soccer, not football. Whoa, you're English as well. <laughs> no, I know, man. Right. I'm Welsh, actually. Oh, <laughs> no, right. um, <laughs> but no, I've, been, I've only been saying it for a couple of weeks. I was in a call with someone the other week, like, and I was like, oh, yeah, uh, so you talk, uh, what is that, football? And then he was like, uh, what? why are you talking it, it, about it was that? American. <laughs> and then he took a good 10 minutes to be like, oh, you mean soccer. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been saying soccer for a while. <laughs> Fine, football. I can respect that. <laughs> <laughs> it just saves time, like... <laughs> Uh, no, no, the people you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The majority are American. But yeah, the Mar- Mario Tennis one, it, it does look cool, like it was said, but it's not going to be one I'm going to go for, because oh, I'll be playing it by myself. <laughs> Low-key, playing tennis by myself. <laughs> <laughs> In the park whilst watching other tennis players play tennis. Like, <laughs> um, Batting the ball, the ball never comes yeah. back. <laughs> See, this but is hit- what I don't understand, like, you know, a lot of, like, old people about Twitch, they say, like, oh, I don't understand it, you're just watching someone play a game, why can't you play it yourself? And then, you know, then the kind of people to be like, yo, let's bust up Mario Tennis, and then it's like, you know, you're playing you're playing tennis on, you know, a 3DS, why do you play it in real life, you know? That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> I, I, I do say, admittedly, I, I'm only getting it because it just looks generally fun and funny, but um, yeah. I do say the sort of same thing of, yeah, why? Why do you? Why? Why play FIFA? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> you know. know, man. And the, but like, I guess there's always a debate saying like, oh well, you know, it's, it's, a it's game. snowing outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, next game on the list is Undertale. Oh, that is not a game for me. <laughs> See, I've got it downloaded on my computer, and I could legit like play it and start it and probably complete it like this time next week. But there's always been that one thing that's just stopped me from doing that. Like, oh, I've got to, yeah, I've got a script, I've got to record. And even when I don't have to record, like, we've been in a call before, you know, in this, before we started recording, we've been in a call for, like, an hour, you know? Like, mm. could have been playing it then. Like, but, yeah, I don't know. I probably won't get it on the Switch. I'll see if I like it on the, like, PC first. Mm. And then if I do, then I will. But I'll have to see where I go after playing it on the PC I mean, I've had it in my Steam library for like two years, yeah. so I don't know if I'll be playing it anytime soon. 
You better dust yeah. that off now. So we'll go straight to the next one, which is Crash Bandicoot <gasps> Insane Ooh. Trilogy. Yes. Which I'm yeah. stupidly, stupidly happy. Yeah, it's surprising <laughs> to be coming on Nintendo console, but yeah. Yeah, indeed. I see. I remember there being like, you know, when there's always like somebody online has said like, oh, here's some leaks for Nintendo, and they say something like Crash Bandicoot, and you're thinking. No, it bro. could be true, but it will never happen. But it's one of those things of like, yeah, I looked at it and just went, yeah, it's not like that technically advanced of a game, so it could come to Switch. And admittedly, it looks better on Switch because, hey, I could take this wherever I want. <laughs> um, but yeah, when they, when they announced that, I was straight away like, okay, I think I need to betray PlayStation <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> Bring, buy this one. I, and I've, I've already had so many like hate comments from my friends <laughs> just saying like, no, don't get it on Nintendo, get it on Sp- uh, PlayStation. But I'm just like, that looks better because I can just like, you know, sit down, lay in bed and just be like crashing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crashing whilst playing Crash. But I'm happy to say that is also co- uh, that is coming out July 10th, I think. Yeah, July 10th. Mm. And interestingly enough, uh, it is also coming to Xbox One and PC. But, yeah. But Nintendo got the uh, the honour of announcing it first. <laughs> oh yeah. So the one after that one is Little Nightmares, the complete edition. Ooh, honestly, I have a lot of good things to say about this game. It looks really cool, and I can't help but notice that the main character looks like Georgie from It. You know, um, oh god, yeah, yeah, uh, and I think that's uh, cool. I don't know if that's meant to be an Easter egg, but I, I, I can't help but not see Georgie. <laughs> hey, Georgie, hey, Georgie, <laughs> hello, Georgie. <laughs> we all float down here. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. If you think that's bad, you see, you should see like my Pennywise dancing. That's even worse. Oh my god, but, yes. um, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh. Uh, I think the game looks really good. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to say. Um, and, you know, the gameplay and stuff. I watched um, a few people play this one, and it is, if you want to go for a game that really creeps you out and you just feel uncomfortable in this game, is that type of game. You're playing it and you're trying to get your character to survive, and it's just very creepy. I have nothing to add to that game. <laughs> so next up is you know a bit because you know Nintendo kind of PG, but it's South Park, you know. Yeah. Oh uh, god, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah got so I mean, DLCs I just want to say, sorry, sorry. Before I <laughs> maybe say anything like <laughs> important, um, what made me laugh in the direct was the announcer who was like. Obviously, talking all over the um, and I <laughs> did you hear like the pause when he said the name of South Park? Yeah, <laughs> South Park, the fractured, but whole. And <laughs> it was like, oh my god, <laughs> he had the PG up. Oh, but yeah, it looks cool. It's yeah, South Park's funny. Yeah, if you haven't played it on any other consoles, yeah, possibly is a nice one to get. As well as the DLCs are coming out exactly the same date that the game comes out, except from the third DLC, which is oh, cool. 2018, whatever. So you can get it with the two DLCs or season pass for it, and then you can download the DLC as well as the game. But now I'm interested if they're going to do this because when that South Park game. I guess because because it's already out now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been out on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I I remember there being like, well, if you pre-order the game now on PS4 or Xbox One, um, you can download the Stick of Truth for free. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna do that for the Switch because, as far as I'm aware, I don't think you can get Stick of Truth on the Nintendo Switch. Because hmm. like when I originally saw, I guess that bundle deal thing whatever you want to call it i thought that is a great selling point for anybody who's never played these games yeah yeah be because like and yeah like you said kurt um for anyone who has already played the games is there really that much incentive to actually purchase it again yeah it's kind of a weird one the only thing i can imagine is in the game you can customize your personal character to have certain costumes and stuff on we know Nintendo games that you can edit your characters to have costumes and stuff. They tend to put uh, Mario hats in and stuff like that. Cool. 
Okay, it's not. You're more of a soft park guy than I am. I don't know if you have anything to add. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> not much. So, on that one. some reason I have some sort of lag issue when I keep. Sometimes it cuts you out. It's weird. Hmm. Classic. Classic link cable. Classic. <laughs> yeah, classic. Uh, we'll move on to to the next one, which is <sighs> one that I really want to play. Is Hyrule Warriors uh, the Definity Edition? Definitive. Definitive. So, the game with everything in it. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors, everything edition. <laughs> um, really boost this game. Really good game. Really, really good game. Same. Same. I, yeah. I'm i a massive fan of uh, Toei Tecmo, uh, Tecmo games who do like the Dynasty Warriors games, uh, Samurai Warriors, all those types of hack and slashes. Um, as I like to call them, they are the masters of hack and slash. So uh, I'm a massive fan of that kind of formula of gameplay. Mm. And as a massive fan of Legend of Zelda, because, you know, first name being Link and all that, mm. uh, <laughs> uh, this is like, you know, gels very well with me. And uh, Curtis, as you know, because this was back before they announced the Switch, mm. um, I, I, I never owned a Wii U, but there's always like free games I was gutted that I never had the chance to play, which were Hyrule Warrior at uh, Warriors, Pokemon Tournament, and Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah. Out of those three, we've got two of those now on Switch, so I'm now hoping, Wait. fingers crossed, to get that Xenoblade. Only three? Why, why not Mario Tennis? Wow. Because we're getting a I new one, man. Come on. <laughs> I feel offended, man. You've never wanted to play Mario Tennis on the Wii U. Wow. I want Mario Tennis Definitive Edition, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully, because you and me played it on the Wii U before, where we tried to do two people playing the same game at once, where one person had to have the uh, uh, controller with the screen to play it on, and the other person had the TV, so it didn't have any split screen type of thing. I would like for this game to have possibly online play, so you can play with your other mates, or more of a split screen now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Um... I, can't, I think they've confirmed it's a split screen because if I remember, I think there's a moment in the trailer where you see the guy take off the Joy Cons, mm. and then I think he turns it sideways. So it's like, oh, you can you know play with your friend in co-op now. Um, more importantly for me, uh, and because this is what I would like to do or have, is then do the online co-op because that's what I that's what I would prefer more because that's how I've played um, my Dynasty Warriors games with like, other people who I know uh, more so with One Piece Pirate Warriors which is another game they did and just because I think it's a lot better when you have like you know you have your own screen mm. and y your your friend who could live on the other side of the world you still have a chance to play with them doing like the same levels the missions yeah I do think so, uh, they have an online mode like they'll join you and you can select which mission you want to go for and they just join in with you type thing yeah Plus, Impa in that game looks amazing. Yeah, I do like the princess <laughs> uh, Twilight in there. It looks cool. <laughs> and I think there's just one more game now that we have to talk about. Uh, is no, it no, arms? sorry. There's two games, actually, sorry. There's three. Well, if you're thinking of ARMS, it's not really like much to say. It's just a tournament. Fine, fine. <laughs> right, we'll say it anyway so people don't come like, oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, <laughs> ARMS, that's a thing. Yeah, but um, it's in the US and Canada only. <laughs> that doesn't affect me. <laughs> I just like the but, arms, that thing. Yeah. Play but it. I did like arms. <laughs> arms was a brilliant game. Um, it's what I call a Nintendo game in the sense of you, you look at it, you just think that's 100% Nintendo original idea right there. Like yeah. doing the whole boxing style spring arms. <laughs> I have one question though. <gasps> Is the sequel going to be called Legs? Like, what's going on here? Like, arms <laughs> two. What are we doing here? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I was upset it... when Splatoon two wasn't Splat two. Oh my <laughs> god! Yes. Speaking of Splatoon two. <laughs> nice segue. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, not like I said. There's not really much to say about our, that be um best reception with a lot of fans, but. You know, I think give it some chance. Give it a chance. You'll appreciate it. Uh, by the time they do, probably like you, know, the sequel, which will probably be called Two Arms. Yes. Um, 
<laughs> or legs. I, that, I, I'm hoping for legs now because I'm thinking, hey, if you've got four Joy Cons, put two in your socks and then start kicking. <laughs> yeah, when um when I went to London to meet up with some friends uh, last year, like we went to the YouTube Space Building and we just hung about in there, and they had a Switch there, and me and my friend were playing Arms, and it, it, that's the first and only time I've ever played it, but. It seems like a game I could get into. It seems pretty cool. Well, you have the chance to play that more in uh, in August. Just uh, gonna throw that out there, but just saying, yeah, just saying. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Arms, awesome game. Uh, tournament coming out in the US and Canada. Uh, I can't remember when. Does anybody have the like announcement date for that? Or to be fair, I don't think a lot of people care. No. Okay, <laughs> no, not in this podcast. The March thirty first free day event. There you go then. All right, uh-huh. so very soon um or <laughs> soon to this recording anyway yeah <laughs> uh lastly then curtis take it away um so next one we have the splatoon 2 one which there's quite a lot of stuff coming out for that one they did went on for about 10 minutes talking about all the individual stuff for it so you have like splatoon european championship which is a day of it uh off the hock uh concert which is i like the idea of that Mm-hmm. because that just reminds me of Gorillas when they did a 3D version of them on stage as well as uh, Hatsu uh, they got Vocaloid as well on stage 3D models doing a concert so they did the same type of thing but with the uh, Inkets on stage doing a whole concert with them that's pretty cool so, I like that so it's actually 3D projected models of the characters on stage doing a concert and it was in Japan and now it's going to be at this event in European in I think it's Switzerland or something like that. Uh, Not too sure. <laughs> but you can watch it live Saturday, thirty first of March on YouTube Nintendo UK. So you can actually watch a live stream of it happening. So it's not too bad. I like how Nintendo is doing a lot more of this live streaming types. Um, well, just live streaming in total for their like games. Mm. Um, it, it just shows Nintendo's grown more as a company, getting more into the whole modern day of gaming. Yeah, definitely. They're trying to uh, connect to all their uh, people a lot easier. Yeah. Um, only last thing about the Splatoon 2 was the version 3.0, late April, which has over 100 new pieces, as well as the Octo expansion, which is like a story-based thing. Yeah, a lot of uh, DLC added stuff, isn't it? Uh, that's a paid DLC as well, isn't it? Isn't that the first time they've done that? Um, I think it is. I'm just guessing. Possibly, but... <laughs> so, Splatoon 2, uh, I played, uh, I got the first one on the Wii U. I do like the game. I haven't played much on oh, yeah. the Switch version. But I think, yeah, same. Um, I know uh, our other YouTuber, just to plug him in, uh, some Northerner guy plays it quite a bit. <laughs> And he fully enjoys it, so I guess if he was on this uh, podcast, he would have been very excited about this news. So, uh, now nah, I'm pretty sure Splatoon sucks. He said so. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I, I've I, I don't own it on the Switch just yet, but I have played the global test that they did. Oh, yeah. So like basically the beta, and I found it very enjoyable, very fun. Obviously, I played the first one at your house, Curtis, yeah. on the Nintendo Wii U. Um, and I think when this, I guess what Octo expansion they called it um when there's like a bundle for it i think i'll just go buy it full price just go boom have it all in one go yeah because uh it is a game i do what i have and uh because north has kept constantly saying dude get this game i really so, uh, enjoyed splatoon on the wii u it was really fun and yeah when i get a switch i very much intend to get splatoon 2 it looks awesome um north made me laugh the other day because he was explaining something that was happening at the moment uh apparently they do have they have like special events where it's like okay um egg or chicken burger or hot dog uh so they have these weird things and then depending on which one you choose you have like a certain color yeah what it is it's like they do teams but like i don't know about splatoon 2 i know this was in splatoon 1 and it sounds pretty similar like there was a time where it was like Team Charizard or Team Blastoise, Team no, Spongebob no way. or Patrick. Good. Like, ah, oh, I loved it, man. Hashtag Team Blastoise all the way, though. <laughs> but, but of this course, is... Team Charizard, I think, did win because everyone loves Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what made me laugh, though, was he was explaining a bit about this to me, and then I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I think he mentioned the whole hot dog and uh, burger 
like tournament thing and then he said oh but i don't know what colors they'll be and i said oh well wouldn't they be like maybe red and yellow because of like ketchup and mustard um and then he said ah well fun fact you can't actually have red ink i was like what that sounds pretty stupid and then he said apparently it's because if you had red ink in the game it all looked like blood oh my god I and i was i just started i just started laughing and then just thinking oh my god this pg game all of a sudden <laughs> gets red ink <laughs> Yeah, because playing the original Splatoon, I did love the use of the ink colors and what they did with it. It's pretty cool, so. I like it. I like it. Like I said, I'll get it when I can get it all bundled together. Mm. So, that was mainly but... all the uh, Nintendo Switch games. There wasn't actually anything but more. But there's just one last there announcement. There wasn't anything else um, that was shared. One more thing. <laughs> we were there just relaxing, watching it. It's like, oh, they'd shown a one more Splatoon trailer at the end. There's nothing more to it. Oh wow, they're, they're porting over Splatoon 1 to the Switch, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, everyone's a bit confused watching this, but then uh, no. we found out uh, that uh, we're going to have another uh, Super Smash Bros. As soon as I saw, like, when they said, oh, just one last thing, they did Splatoon again, I was like, right, it's a trailer for Smash, it is, it's got to be. <laughs> and then when, you know, when the Smash ball was in the eye, I was like, damn. <laughs> That, that Nintendo is the massive hype though because I think the best times I've ever seen people do live reactions on YouTube was one for Smash that was just you know recently in this Nintendo Direct and the second one was when they announced Metroid Prime 4 best best part of both those announcements is literally just logos yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like you've got all these people just like losing their online <laughs> yeah crazy online for it and it's absolutely I think the um... map I think some reactions are a bit stretched, but... Yeah, they are. They, you, you know, like, there they are. Like, I don't think I've ever reacted to anything in my life by screaming so loud and, like, throwing things off my shelf, like, you know, <laughs> messing my room up, freaking jumping up on the ground. Break my webcam, know. knock over my microphone. <laughs> exactly, like, I think... Ugh. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's all in the name of entertainment, but, oh, yeah. like... At the same time, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, us who know there's a realm of is, realism. <laughs> you know, it's it's just like mm. there's a video somewhere that must must be a video somewhere just someone taking it over the top, like smashes the TV, smashes the cupboard, lit, puts the oil down, lights on fire, walk away from his house where it's on fire, <laughs> <laughs> smashed. <laughs> oh. so, but no, I, I'm 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 really happy that they've announced this game. Um. It's definitely brought a lot more hype towards Nintendo for general audience because I think for, for a lot of people out there who obviously don't own a Switch just yet, I think a lot of them were just going like, oh, I'll, I'll get it when I get it. And, you know, that was it. exactly me. But then as soon as I saw Smash, I was go. like, okay, that really, like, out of all this, that was the most tickle-pickling thing. Like, tickle -pickling, <gasps> pickles. Be pickles. You know? pickles on table. <laughs> that was the most tickle-tickling thing that, yeah, um, I've ever seen. And i got to get a Switch now, like... Thanks. Dude, it's gonna be so cool. I, <laughs> I, I, I think also the probably, probably more so the best thing other than them announcing it is confirming it's coming out this year sometime. Yeah, yeah. So but, like, um, yeah. Sorry. What characters do you think we could be seeing? Because I think you know, obviously we're gonna get the inklings. I think another cooler one would be you know, uh, one of the characters from Arms. You know, mm. with Arms, um, I think. They should go cliche and have like the main two characters being uh, yeah, yeah. Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. Um, keep them as the same character, but like has skins. like diff yeah skins. Yeah, because they do the same thing. So um, well other than like one slight different ability, but it, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> but I definitely think Arms would be a great addition to the Smash Bros. franchise. Um, I want Crash Bandicoot, and I've seen a lot of people say the same thing, but. I took I, I I walked away from that Nintendo Direct going they've announced all these different types of games and then they announced Smash the they, you know pretty much the only true brand new game they announced in that Direct and I went away I walked away going hang on there's a lot of ports in here is is there a chance we're gonna get any of these like you know maybe we'll get Okami maybe we'll get um, like I said, um, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. I'm I'm actually also thinking we're going to get a Dark Souls character because of the amiibo. 
See, I'm a bit iffy on that, to be honest. Like, I don't know, how would that fit in? You know, like, it would just be a bit out of place. I don't know. Well, Maybe. I, thought the sa- I thought the same back in Brawl when they had um, Snake. Snake. Yeah. Because that was one thing. I, I, I love Snake. I love Metal Gear Solid. But I remember when I first played uh, so Smash Bros. on the, the Wii, I was like, does Snake fit in this game? Yeah. But... After I got past like that kind of introduction, I just kind of like you could say fit into. Smash yeah, as I well. agree with that actually. Yeah, maybe Dark Souls then. Um, I did tweet out like a, I stole a tweet. It was like a picture, you know, one like equals one character. I want it in Smash. Uh, I put like Waluigi. I thought that would be cool. Incineroar, of course. The Ice Climbers, yeah. bring them back. Yeah, also, bring them back. Like another interesting one. Like you said, it looks a bit out of place, but. Could we ever see Crash Bandicoot as a playable fighter? I'd love to. Um, that would be really cool. Because it, there's this whole air of like weirdness around Crash Bandicoot, in my opinion, because it's owned by Activision. Yeah. Its first game is PlayStation exclusive, uh, but ever since the second and third one, I believe that's when they started going towards other consoles as well. I might be wrong there, but... Yeah. Um, but I think because Activision owns crash now i think there is that chance of because we had crash bandicoot show up in skylanders and skylanders came out on nintendo consoles as well yeah yeah so i think there is a there there's definitely a small chance of crash showing up and i think that'd be cool because then you'd have people like you know, you'd have mario in there of course you'd have Sonic the hedgehog Me- mega man hopefully returns and then crash and i think that'd be so cool to have those kind of like four Two stable parties. characters from yeah. like the past uh, here's, I'll link you guys a picture in the Discord now. This little guy, I want to see this guy pop up, Bomberman. Bomberman! Like, he'd be so cool at it. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. Dude, be... yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I, I, I would love to see Bomberman go up. Yeah, there's definitely a few characters which I could think of which can be in it just because it is on the Nintendo system. Like, it might be obscure, but they had, uh, <laughs> they had, uh, Final Fantasy in Smash as well, haven't they, with, uh, Oh my god, when they had Cloud. Yeah, Cloud was in the fun. Um, oh, dude. It? It's so... so awesome. And on obviously Bayonetta, like I said. I think Bayonetta would definitely return because she's become, or that franchise has become a Nintendo property now. Yeah, I do think Bayonetta's going to be in it. You have chance of a few other characters like Undertale. I can imagine them adding them in as assist trophies, you know? You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few characters they can get away with now. Like, like you said, Dark Souls character, you know? A Dark Souls character can even be in it, you know? I think, um, to some extent, we can probably get Toad as his own playable character now. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Or if not a playable character, like Captain Toad is a trophy. Yeah. Yeah. A very, very low-key one. Now, I don't know if either of you guys have ever played this game. Um, Do either either of you two know the franchise Golden Sun? It was on Game Boy Advance. Um, I want them to, or for uh, Nintendo, I want that, that, I want that whole franchise to come back. I want that series to come into Nintendo Switch, become a full, big RPG. Mm. But I'd love it if they had the main character, Isaac, as a playable character, because I think in Smash Wii U and 3DS, he was a trophy. And it was just a little bit, like, odd having him there, because it was, like, it's a very, in Nintendo's properties, it's not one of their, like, top ten like most like successful series but it is like still a successful series of its own right yeah yeah so uh that's just like a li- that's just a lucky uh you know character pick i'd love to have so so i'm gonna get up like a list of smash characters smash bros uh wii u characters like i want to know what characters you think aren't gonna come back who aren't yeah it's pretty hard to say because a lot of them well i think the interesting thing is wii u and the uh, Smash Wii U, Smash 3DS, don't they have like almost 60 characters? Yeah. Yeah. I think I would not be surprised because, as far as I'm aware and still believe, this Smash for Switch game is a brand new Smash. Yeah. Oh. But um, I'm thinking, will we have as many characters as the Wii U game did, or will we have more or less? I think we'll have more. I think they know that we like to have more characters and yeah we already have a lot of variety if not like more than 
you know, tons more than, and, like, three more new characters, I guess. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to find out. I, I, did, I did a list the other day. I don't think we'll lose any. Like, you know, I don't think, not lose any, but I don't think we'll have less characters than we did in uh, the last Smash. I do think a big genre of characters is what Smash is good for. Just yeah, exactly. To be like, oh, now I play, like, that character because I love that character. Um each game that keeps going past you do get more and more added and not many do get taken off so like even Mewtwo yeah. and Lucario getting in it and things like that you know yeah that's all I have to say really <laughs> <laughs> other than yeah I can't wait I can't wait but one thing I would love if they add into the game was from the Wii version which was the story based mode oh, oh yeah. um Oh god, what was it called? Seven Space? Space, oh, I can't remember. M Space on an emissary, I think it was. Yeah, um, Yeah, I agree. I, I want a proper uh, story base ga uh, mode for Smash. <laughs> yeah, because I liked it, because it did take you through a proper story, and it was mission-based. And it's like you had the decision between two different characters, and which one you pick is which one you can take with you, and that's the only characters you have type thing. And it like, slightly affects the story as well. Because yeah. I remember ch checking out all the uh, different cutscenes you could potentially have. Um, I've just found my list <laughs> oh, of uh, characters who I'd like to see or who I think could actually show up in Smash for Switch. Yeah. Um, obviously, like I said, Crash, Bandicoot. Here's one who I think will be... I have a real sort of belief this character will show up in Smash, and that is Shovel Knight. Yeah. Because that franchise has become very close towards like Nintendo, and obviously has become a very successful franchise of its own. Mm. Um, so, and it's, and he the character has already appeared in other games such as um, Ukulele. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One personal one I'd love to have because I love this franchise is having Rex and Pyra as a joint character from the Xenoblade Two. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. It's one for oh, me. Speaking <laughs> of a uh, like joint character, I'd like to see Banjo and Kazooie. That'd Dude, that yeah. would be that would be sick. I don't, like I maybe, don't... maybe the up the attack, you know, to jump up would be like Kazooie like flapping its wings a little bit, you know, trying to carry them both. Yeah. yeah. When Pokey Dan becomes a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I think um I've I've seen a lot of people wanting Drybone to be a playable character. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work to be honest. Like, yeah, a lot of people want it, but I don't know. I don't want too many Mario characters. Mm. You know? True. I I think when I looked up uh, the Wii U game, I think I calculated there was being roughly about six to seven characters from each franchise. So like, you had yeah. six Pokemon from Pokemon, you had about seven or eight characters from Mario. Um, I think you had seven characters from Fire Emblem, uh, just for an example, and then you, of course you had like one or two from like a few others, so Metroid only had Samus and Armor, and then the, the Zero Animal Suits. Crossing, and... yeah. Yeah, yeah, so like Stuff Villager. Like mm. um, yeah, I can see, out of Mario, if there's two new characters, obviously Captain Toad, which I guess is Captain Toad, but it's also Mario, and yeah, Waluigi. Mm. Waluigi. <laughs> but I mean, well, they already have Wario, so it's fair. Well, I think it's fair. Yeah, it's like a big icon with like memes. <laughs> stuff, so yeah, I can imagine it's more towards him. Now. Do it for the meme. Do it for the meme. Just do it for the memes. But whatever feature <laughs> I can really pitch them doing, just thinking of it there and then, is customi customization on the characters because each character has so many different skins now. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Right. I that that could go very well. In explaining why is there Zelda Breath of the Wild in there? Yeah. Imagine if like um, you know, uh, Mewtwo. Imagine if Mewtwo came back and it was like Shadow Mewtwo as a skin. Oh, dude, yes, from Pokemon, cool. that'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Because like before, it'd be good if you could add little things like even Pikachu uh, in the game the game had like different hats and stuff when you change color. Yeah. So with Mario, you can change it for him to have a flood on his back or you could change it to be uh, Odyssey style Mario, you know? Oh, uh, like you should, uh, you know in Odyssey when Mario, like, you know, it was a controversy like, Mario has nipples or whatever, like, you know <laughs> that <I'm good. laughs> Just to be like, yeah, he has nipples. Now he's fighting with nipples. Screw you. Oh my god. When Nintendo. <laughs> he's fighting in his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of them did before. I think it was, was it Shulk? 
I think it was Shulk. Yes, Shulk had, um, well, I think it was meant to be a swimsuit, but yeah. it is one of those, uh, there's a borderline. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk about risky freaking um, skins, let's talk about Zero Suit Samus, you know? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Bayonetta as well. And I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a few comments. <laughs> Cool, so I think that's basically all about uh, Smash. If you have, do you guys have anything to add to it? Not really. <laughs> Give us a Monster Hunter character. <laughs> Could do. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm good. I, I think we've covered everything. Yeah, so this Nintendo Direct, I would say, gave us quite a lot to look forward to. Both with the 3DS and Nintendo Switch, there's a load of... Uh, quality games to come out some that's a bit more appealing than others some is a bit more Ooh, i definitely want to try and play that one they've definitely built hype yeah a lot of hype due to this one direct mm. but until next time <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's end up here so um i'd like to thank both my guests that has uh been a good part of this podcast and uh where to check them out so dad where can people check you out from eh who me? Yeah. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash channel forward slash Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan, I've watched him for quite a while now. He's a brilliant uh, YouTuber. Does a lot of uh, Pokemon videos and uh, top tens of that. So go check out his channel if you haven't yet. Most likely you haven't checked this channel out, so you'll be definitely coming from his channel. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely watch the video. I'm gonna say, hey guys, I've been in uh, the Pokegear podcast, so. Go check it out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lewis with Link Cable. Let's. Uh, what about your stuff, man? You can find me at youtube.com forward slash channel forward slash Link Cable. It's your boy. It's your boy. Link. <laughs> I've got a feeling you have to say that quite a lot because you're just gonna keep being a guest on my uh, podcast. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm just gonna give you a pre-recording now, and <laughs> yeah. I'll hop out at the end of each uh, podcast. But if you haven't catched it before, in our previous podcast, we were talking about um, all stuff of 2018 and Pokemon things, so all the different games we would like to see come to Switch and that. But this podcast has been absolutely brilliant, and thank you, trainers, for uh, listening in, and I hope you uh, catch us on our next one. So thank you for watching, or listening. Don't forget to leave a like, comment below, in case you want to share your thoughts about Nintendo Direct. Yes. Add anything else? <laughs> <laughs> give a like, give a share, uh, post something underneath. Smash that sub button. Smash that like. Uh, add anything on to uh, comments. Is there anything else you want us to talk about? We do have a guest ready for in uh, next week or so. So, what do you want us to talk about? So, yeah. Anything to sign us off with, uh, Dan? Uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time, I guess. <laughs> And you've been amazing. You've been amazing. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>